Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and with the release of the new iOS 18, Apple has brought a ton of new features and changes to iOS. And there are of course a ton of hidden features that most users won't know about. So in this video, we're going to take a look at more than 50 new hidden features that you will be able to find on your device running the new iOS 18. And we're starting with the lock screen. So when you go to customize your lock screen, you will have a few different tricks and hidden features here. First of all, you know that now we can change the buttons on the lock screen, but what's really cool is that you can get a really clean lock screen by simply removing the toggles, all of them, and then you will have just a nice clean looking lock screen. Now what you can do here is also use the toggles to actually open any app you want. You will have the toggle right here. Once you select it, it will take you here from where you can choose any app that you want and you will be able to actually open that app directly from the lock screen not just apps you will also be able to actually launch any shortcut that you want directly from your lock screen you simply choose the shortcut toggle then all you have to do here is just go ahead and pick any of the toggles that you have set any of the shortcuts that you have saved on your shortcuts app that way you will be able to actually just run any shortcut you want directly from here which is really really awesome another very useful feature here is that these buttons are actually linked to wallpapers so if i have these right here when i go ahead and switch to another wallpaper i will have different toggles so you saw those right there but when I go to different wallpapers, now I have a different toggles. Now the same thing can be done on the control center as well. You will be able to run any app directly from the control center. Again, all you have to do is add that toggle just like on the lock screen from where you can open an app. You just scroll down here to the shortcut section and you will find the ability to actually run any app you want and also run any shortcut you want directly from the control center which is pretty awesome now what you can notice right here is that the control center is of course fully customizable now but you can also place the toggles anywhere you want on your control center now previously you had only some fixed toggles now you have like different toggles you can actually move around and you can just place them anywhere you want just like that you can customize them of course make them bigger or smaller but also place them on any place you want even though it's still a bit buggy hopefully with the next updates this will be actually fixed but again you can just move them around and place them anywhere you want now another pretty cool thing is that apple has added printer center to the control center so if we just go ahead and search right there we have printer center so you can just launch the printing center directly now using that toggle from your control center also a pretty cool thing here is that you will have these buttons which allow you to move directly to different pages simply by tapping on that little icon right there or also you can just slide like that to quickly move between different pages of your control center one of the apps that has gotten the most updates on ios 18 is of course the new photos app and you have a ton of features right here that you need to know about first of all when you go to sort and filter your albums or your photos now you will have here an option to actually remove screenshots that's pretty cool you go ahead and choose their way you want to see the screenshots or not on that album and it's actually pretty useful because a lot of times we have a ton of different screenshots that will show up right there so that way you can actually remove them from any album or from your recent photos which is really awesome another thing is that when you have a photo or anything that you have edited like if we go ahead and edit this one right here we can just go ahead and edit this if we want to copy the edits for this photo right here we will have now a few different options so if we tap right there copy edits you can go ahead and enable adjust or if you have other like 
different things that you have edited on this photo like let's go ahead and edit some other things right here like the crop for example or something like that you will then have the options to enable or this disable those edits when you want to copy them so if i just want to copy the effects maybe from this photo to another one i can disable here the crop so i don't have to add that crop to the other photo i just uh, add the other edits and that's pretty awesome and when you're trying to edit a photo, now you can choose the appearance of the editor. So you tap right there on the three dots, you will have appearance right here. You can choose dark or light if you want to change the appearance, or you can keep the system one and it will change based on the system appearance that you have turned on. Another pretty cool change on the Photos app is that when you're playing a video, the video now actually loops. So you can see once it ends right there, it will loop again and again. And of course it doesn't stop. That's pretty awesome. Previously, when the video ended it, it would just stop right there. And when you go to customize your Photos app, now you can disable any of the sections that you see on the Photos app. So if I don't want to see people or trips right there, I just deselect them from here and they won't appear again on my Photos app. That's pretty awesome. And another pretty cool thing is that the locked album now actually doesn't open automatically. So when you go to your hidden or your recently deleted, it will stay like that. You will have to tap on view album in order for the hidden items to show. Now here's a very useful change on iOS 18. When you're translating something, if I'm here on the translate app, if I go to English, you can see I have the English keyboard, but when I switch to Chinese right there, it you can see right there will change to the Chinese keyboard. That's very, very useful. It happens automatically. You don't need to add the keyboard or anything else. And now you can have a keyboard with two different languages at the same time. So if I go to general right here, and go under the keyboard settings, go to my keyboards. If I try to add a new keyboard, so let's just go ahead and try to add Spanish right here. So if I tap on Spanish, you will see what will happen. So if I tap on Spanish, I can add a new keyboard or I can add to the English keyboard, which is again, a very useful new feature. On the health app on iOS 18, when you go to your metrics, if you tap the edit button, now you can actually pin different like sections of the health app and of course you can even rearrange them like this or unpin any one if you want the files that you have on your iCloud with the files app you can now keep them downloaded on your device you 3d touch on it and you can tap right there keep download and it will keep it locally on your iPhone finally we have the stopwatch on the dynamic island I don't know why Apple had to wait so long for this but Finally, when you start the stopwatch, you will have it on your dynamic island. With iOS 18, you can now calculate anywhere you want. So if I'm calculating something right here, it will show me the result right there on the predictive text section. So I can go ahead and tap right there to show the result. I can just tap to see only the result. So it's pretty awesome. It works anywhere, of course, where you can use a keyboard. Now the iPhone has also a pretty great new feature. If you have an Apple Watch, you know that when your Apple Watch runs out of battery, you can still hold the button and it will show you the time. Your iPhone will now do that as well. Even though your iPhone might not have any battery left, it's turned off completely. You tap and hold the power button, it will actually show you the exact time. You can now use stickers in line just like you would do with emojis so there i have a sticker i can tap on it and i can use this sticker online it even shows it right there on the predictive text section in this case we have a car right here so if i tap car it actually does show it alongside with the emoji with the new passwords app on ios 18 you can now share qr codes for your wi-fi or any wi-fi that you have been connected to tap right there show network qr code and you can share the qr code for any wi-fi network and we have some pretty cool animations here for the buttons on ios 18 so if you tap the button right here the volume up volume down the power button or the action button it will animate the corner right here it actually looks pretty awesome you probably won't even notice it from the wallpaper it's, it's kind of dark right here from the camera but just try it out on your device you will see the bezel will expand right here a bit and it looks pretty awesome and on the maps app if you have now an apple watch you will be able to sync 
your downloaded maps with your Apple Watch. So you go to profile, you go to offline maps and just enable this button and it will actually sync your downloaded maps to your Apple Watch. The settings app has also been updated a lot with iOS 18 and we have now a new section right here for apps. So when you go to the app section, you will see a list of all of your apps. Now, if you'd want to find an app quickly, all you have to do is just swipe down here and it will reveal the search bar. Also, you will have the letters right here. You can tap on any letter to jump to the apps that start with that letter, or you can just swipe your finger up or down right here to actually move between the different like sections of the app section on the settings app, which is very useful. Again, some of the apps like iMessage and phone and things like that, that you might need more frequently probably should be right here, but they are still right there on the sections of, on the section with all the different apps. And it's sometimes really annoying when you need those settings and you have to go there and search for those apps. Now with iOS 18, when you have been charging your iPhone with a slow charger, you will see this indicator if you go to the battery section. Right there, it shows you on that orange color when your iPhone has been actually charged with a slow charger. That way, letting you know that it will take a lot more time to charge your iPhone if you keep using that same charger. And the search section has been updated a lot on the settings app. You probably know that on the top of your settings app, you have a search bar. Now, if you go there, what you will see is that now you will have suggestions, but you also have your recent. So you basically have a history of the settings that you have searched for, and you can just move to them directly from here without needing to search them again. Also, if you have an iPhone with an action button, you will be able to now actually use the same toggles just like you have on the control center and the lock screen. So you move all the way here to controls, tap choose a control and you will have all of them right here. You can assign them right here to your action button. Going back, another thing we have here is the iCloud section. So, you know, at the top of your settings app, you will have your profile. You can go there and you will find your iCloud settings. Well, Apple now has also decided to add that section right here at the App Store and Game Center settings so you can easier find it and quicker have access to your iCloud settings. Now with iOS 18, Apple has done a great job of integrating reminders with the calendar app. So when you go to your calendar, you will see your events, but you will also see your reminders right here. So there I have a reminder. As you can see, I can tap on it and I can even edit this reminder right here. I tap on edit and it gives me the option to actually edit just like I would be on the reminders app it's pretty cool and i can even go ahead and completely delete the reminder right here now what apple has done with the calendar app is that you can also change the view here zoom in and out on the calendar app simply by pinching in and out the calculator app is also one of the apps that has gotten the most updates on ios 18. first of all if you're typing something now you cannot use that swipe back gesture right here now you will have a button to actually delete anything you want. Tapping here, you will be able to take notes directly on the app right here and you will have like the notes saved here only the, for the notes that you have actually done in the calculator app. Even though you will still be able to find these on the notes app, while you're ac having access to the notes on the calculator app, it only shows the ones that you have taken here, which is pretty cool. And then you will have the history right here all the results, everything that you have done, you can copy them or delete them from here. Moving on into the messages app, we now have a link card. So whenever you send a link, a video, whatever it is, it will show this beautiful card right there. Now, one really great feature with the messages app on iOS 18 is that if you have scheduled a message to send later, even though your iPhone might run out of battery, the message will still be sent, which is pretty awesome. Also, we have text format right here. So if we go ahead and tap right here, we will be able to actually format this text right on here on the on actually the messages app. So if we tap right there, we can go ahead and turn it into bold or maybe add an underline right there. So it's pretty cool. And of course, we have all the cool new effects that Apple has added with iOS 18. 
The reader mode has also been updated with iOS 18. You will see a totally new interface right here. If we tap show reader and we tap right there, we have a totally new interface, which actually looks much better. And it's much easier to actually customize anything you want for the reader mode or maybe even change here the font. And also, if we go to the page menu, we will see here a lot more options that Apple has added. So we have everything right here that you need to all the different like tab actions, all the different website settings can now be found here in one place. The notes app has also gotten some updates with iOS 18. Now you can colorize a text if I just go ahead and go to format right here, I can change between a few different colors. For the note right there, you can see that text, anything that you maybe want to highlight, you can do that as easy as that. And also, if we go to attach something, we have now the option to actually record audio directly on the notes app. So we tap on the record, it will record it right here. And we also have transcription, which is really cool. So we have transcription right here live. But again, if I just stop this, I'm done here, it will also show the transcription right there. The phone dialer has also gotten an update and now it supports T9, which means that you can now type right there the number and it will start showing the results from your contacts. Now this is very, very useful. Now if you have a number saved, you're typing there, you don't need to type the complete number, it will show the result right there and you can go ahead and just tap there, it shows a number and you can go ahead and make the phone call from here. Some pretty cool new features can be found on the podcast app as well. First of all, we have chapters, so you can tap right there. You can see we have different chapters, which is really awesome. Tapping here, it will show you a list of all the chapters. And you can just tap on one of them and actually move directly to that chapter, which is really awesome. And one feature that I really love on iOS 18 and the podcast app is that when you go to share an episode, you will have the option to tap here, where it says from start, and you can just go ahead and share that from the start or from any point of time that you want on that podcast. And last but not least, the music app now allows you to bulk delete songs that you have on a playlist. So if we go right there and we want to edit, we can now just go ahead and select these and delete them from here. Now another really cool feature is that now it will show you the full title of the song and not cut it off. Even if the title is too long, it will still show it completely on the list. So that is it for this video guys. These are more than 50 new hidden features that you will be able to find on your device running the new iOS 18. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did, subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one.